Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Eddie Kids Jump Challenge on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I played this back in the day on the Commodore 64, recently played it on the BBC Micro, and now let's check it out for the Spectrum. Why not indeed? So let's push Kempston. So on this and the BBC version, we always start off a BMX, where the Commodore 64 version was completely different. You had massive sprites in that version, and you just start on the motorbike, because that's what Eddie Kidd did. He was a stuntman on a motorbike. Right, I don't recall him ever riding a BMX. Probably did when he was a kid, but that's not what made him famous. Right, okay. So when you've got a bit of a run up, you let go, push return, and it'll go for its run up. Right, here we go. So you push up to accelerate, or down, doesn't make any difference, up or down. Come up to the jump, here we go. And we've cleared it. Okay, so it breaks automatically. Now we're on the motorbike. This is where it's a little bit different from the BBC version. This one changes the gears automatically, where the BBC version you had to you had to manually change it. Same with the Commodore 64 version. This one's got automatic gears, so it's going to make it a little bit more easier. And to turn round. You've got to push return. Right. Up or down to accelerate. Fire button is to break. And why did I wheelie? Why the fuck did I wheelie? Right. Every time you, you get the one life, and when you when you crash, then it resets the game. Well, you don't reset the game, you got to start again. So it's back to the BMX. So don't need that much of a run up. The controls are slightly different when you're riding a motorbike. Obviously you ain't got gears to worry about. Well you don't have to worry about it. It's automatic anyway on the motorbike anyway. I mean this bit's pretty simple I think. To jump on your BMX. Okay, it's um, a good little touch to have, I guess, before you advance to the motorbike stage. Right, make sure we get a bit of a run up. I think we do. Oh, so you can push left and right, and that sort of. I don't like what he's doing there. Look at that. What the fuck? Is he having sex with the petrol tank? Look at that. That's disgusting. <laughs> right. Push return, it turn round so he gets his run up. So accelerate, make sure. Hang on, push down, maybe it'd be a place to push down actually. There we go. Oh, 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 he, he just. Now it's frustrating me because I can't understand it. So maybe I was going too fast. Right, okay, push return. See, I would find this quite annoying. Keep I mean, you only get the one chance, and if you don't, if you blow it, then you got to start all the way from back from the beginning again. That would piss me. Off. This is really is pissing me off. Right, push return to turn it around. Once to turn around, push down. Push, it doesn't matter. Push up or push down. Yeah, the controls are a bit weird on this. But this is a little bit more easier than the BBC version. Right, we made that, that's pretty simple. It's when we get onto the motorbike. Now this gets a bit a little bit more trickier. Right, this I think we don't need that much of a run up. Oh, fucking hell, what annoys me? It's hard to break! Oh what the fuck happened there? Oh, this is pissing me off. One more go, and that'll be my it. That'll be it. One more go. This is this is just starting to get on my nerves. Oh, I 
think we've got enough run up. So this is simple in comparison to the motorbike part. Right, here we go. So really, once he's airborne, you don't really have to do nothing. You just get, you don't have to push fire to jump. You don't have to do anything, as long as you've got enough run up. This is a little bit more complicated. Right. Return. Push down, or I'm gonna push down. Maybe it was, I don't know. Let's see how. I don't think I've got enough speed. Oh, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I don't, I'm not enjoying this. I think I overshot it, but... I don't know. Let's give it one more... One more go. One more go. But it's just annoying that you have to keep restarting it. We're starting it from the beginning again. It's just, it's just finding that quite annoying. Why you have to, you get the one like, why can't you get about three chances or something like that? Why do you only get the one chance? Imagine if you got onto level four or something like that and you fucking crash and you got to do the old fucking thing all over again. I can find it quite annoying. Right, so this is pretty simple. That's pretty easy. Now it's this bit. I'm glad this version's got automatic gears. The manual gears, that was quite difficult, right. So let's get at a reasonable speed. I don't want to go too fast. But I don't know if I've got the right speed. Oh, fuck's sake! I've had enough. I've really had enough. I thoroughly don't like the fact that you got to keep doing it all over again. You only get the one chance, and come on, that's a bit stupid. At least have about three chances, something like that. Yeah, I'm not particularly liking it that much. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.